It is really hot outside, but I'm all dressed up, and there's a really good reason for that. I'm going to cut the shoots of the fig tree, and uh, I try to cover and protect every single spot of my skin, because recently I dealt with a real nasty situation, and I'm still really shocked about that, because before I planted figs, I never came across this knowledge before and uh, no one ever warned the gardeners about that. So the thing is when you cut the fig tree, for example, I'm going to remove one shoot. It produces white milky juice and when, when this milky water touches the skin, it leaves the burn. So the skin is, is going to be burned. And eventually I will show what will happen so there is a lot of juice. Even if you remove not only the shoot but if you remove the leaf, the same happens with the leaf and even the parts of the leaf. So sometimes you can see a bit of, well yeah, you need to remove a thicker leaf so that you see that, but initially it, the, there is also this juice. So it's very important not to get in contact with that. First time when I was removing the shoots, that was the beginning of summer. And then some of you noticed really nasty scars all over my body, especially the hands, because the hands come in contact first and my legs because when I was removing the sh those shoots that I had cut they touched my legs and left a really nasty scar. This disease or I would rather call a reaction is uh, called phytophotodermatitis and uh, that is a skin reaction that is caused by this contact with the plant sap, plant juice, and the following exposure to the sun rays. As a result, the skin gets really hypersensitive after this contact. So it started with a mild redness and uh, a bit of inflammation on my leg, and I thought that I just scratched it but then it started growing in length and in a matter of 24 hours I had a huge blister on my leg and on my arms. The blister was accumulating just inside and that as a result I couldn't walk, I couldn't bend my leg and many dermatologists suggested removing the juice by taking a needle and pinching and just you know drenching the juice from from the blister so that to save this part of the skin that was covering the blister from bursting. So that's how all of it looks like right now. So you may see that the scar actually healed and um, I was reading a lot about it and they said that the, there still will be mild scarring like uh, the skin won't be even. I also have in here and the second leg as well as the hand, but at least here the scar is in the form of a heart. So with the hand actually it healed nicer because I had lots of multiple scars and with the leg still not know what it will be. So probably next summer we'll give an update, but I'm kind of not ashamed of it, but definitely a lot of people pay attention to my legs when they see that and they used to pay a lot of attention because these scars were really nasty right now it's just yeah and it goes like this in there yeah. i was actually really lucky not to get this white juice on my face because otherwise there would be a lot more problems as with the hand actually it's visible in here that's still like there is this hot scar and uh, some of them, some of the scars are here. Actually, what I want to ask you is, have you ever dealt with something like this? And do you kind of 
have an experience of complete healing after after this incident i'm just curious of how many people who are watching me were affected by this terrible terrible kind of disease in any case take care beware of all the plants that have kind of a bit of juice especially white juice i used to know that it's kind of dangerous but i thought that there isn't anything more harmless than the fig tree and um, that wasn't a good decision of mine so see you next time bye bye take care